hello guys welcome to telecom book now to topic is ims registration so let's start now so ims registration having three parts first one is the unauthenticated ims registration attempt and the second one is ip security association establishment and the third one is authenticated ims registration so first of all we will go through the simple registration process suppose we have a ue and we have a server so ue sent the register message without credential now server will send a unauthorized that is 401 message to the ue because this is the without credential so ue again sent a register message with credential now server will send a okay okay that message will be 200 200 okay means registration is completed so this is a simple process of the registration there is a first uh, without credential then with credential okay so now we will move to the next like uh, ims registration including the all nodes so you can see here ue pcscf icscf hss and scscf the ue will register to the scscf so ue will send a register message to the scscf so first of all when ue initiate a registration process so before this we have done a 4g attach process so at the time of attach the ue will got the pcsf address so using that address ue will send a register message to the pcsf now pcsf will do a dns query and it will find a icsf address now pcsf will send the same register message to the icsf here the icscf will this need to the send the same message to the scscf but the icscf don't have the scscf address so what it will do it will do the query from the hss so it will send a diameter message that is uar user authorization request so hss will respond with uaa user authorization answer in this answer it will include the scscf address as well as capability so icscf will use that address and send the register message to the scscf okay now scscf will receive the register message then scscf will send a media authorization request to the hss then HSS will respond with media authorization answer. In this answer, it will include random number, authentication token, expected response, ciphering key, and integrating key. Now, the SCS will save this expected response and including these remaining information, it will send a 401 unauthorized message. And this 401 or unauthorized message will include these information random number authentication token ciphering key and integrating key as you can see the expected response is not here because it is already saved in the SCCF. now this message will reach to the pccf and pccf will do it will save ck and ik okay and other Two information random number and authentication token it will send to the ue now so when ue will receive this information it will generate a expected response and include in the register message and send the register message to the pccf now this message to reach to the iccf and the same process will happen as you can see here then register message will reach to the SCSF again now SCSF will do a compare with 
expected response sent by the UI and whatever it was saved. If it is matched, so it will send a SAR to the HSS and HSS will respond with SAA server assignment answer. So in the server assignment answer, it will this was the server assignment request and this is the server assignment answer. In this answer, the HSS will send a list of application servers and capabilities of the servers for the third party registration. Okay. So after that, SCSF will send a 200 OK message to the UE. Here, the registration is completed. Okay.